<laughs> so guys you can see i'm just i'm laughing here i have five men in my house not boys they're no longer babies they're no longer boys they're all men and they said they've been eating rice and they wanted something so light that we should go out and take a barbecued fish i told them no that me i can do barbecue fish in my house so i'm going to do barbecue fish for them today hello guys how are you all doing because i'm doing great here i met your girl benny of benny's kitchen hope you guys are doing great because i'm doing great here too so today i'm preparing this barbecued fish for the men in the house on the table i have what it takes to do this i have my already washed fish you can see the fish is thoroughly washed i wash it very very well remove everything in it the gills everything out and i'm going to be using three of this one because i said men are eating this fish men then i have here in this bowl i have lots of pepper when i mean pepper i mean lots of pepper i have pepper in here i have onions in here i have some ginger some garlic and onions all blended together i have curry bouillon cube then my suya spice is here i'm going to use my suya spice then salt oil chopped onions then i have my fish spice here because i'm going to make some coleslaw with this that's why you, have, you see i have cabbage i have um, carrots and i have tomatoes in here so first of all i'm going to dab this the fish to be very very dry to take out the water the left water in them because i want it to be so so dry you can use any type of fish i'm using croaker fish this is croaker you can use um, catfish you can use tilapia you can use cumbia if that is what you can afford but i'm using croaker fish they said they want it to be very very spicy and hot so the hotness they will get today so this is done now so what i'm going to do now i'm going to add some curry powder in here i don't want to boil uh, the tomatoes separately i'm going to add the bouillon cubes in here then i'll add the salt then i'll add the fish spice Then I'll stir everything. I'll add in some vegetable oil in here. Then I'll add in some suya spice. Or use the brush to dab in some oil on the body of the fish so when you're adding the pepper mix it can stick So guys, I'm taking one of them because I'm making three. So I'll get the pepper, open it up very, very well. So the pepper can go in inside very, very well. You know it's fish, the pepper is not too much. It might be somehow to just be bland maybe somehow to eat so it has to be so so pepperish so i've added that one so much in 
then get your brush if you don't have a brush you can use your spoon to continue but just allow the pepper to rub in very very well that's when you can enjoy this fish you flip it over Continue rubbing. For flavor, I'm going to stuff in some onions inside. Then before I wrap it, I'll just allow some onions to be outside of the foil paper for flavor so i'm done with this now i'll now wrap it and put it on a tray i'm going to be using this tray for them so I'll add this one now here while I do the remaining two. So this is the second one. Pour the pepper in. Then Rub it on your body. Flip it over. I'll stuff in some onions for flavor. Then I'll leave some onions on the body. Then I wrap. So this is the last one i'll just wrap it now then put it on the tray and into the oven so it's entering the oven now for the next uh, 40 minutes so while the fish are in the oven i'll just make a little um, coleslaw to go so i'll grate the carrots Please, if you have watched me to this moment, stop whatever you are doing and hit the like button. If you are passing for the first time, please subscribe, keep watching, keep liking, and keep sharing. We'll add it into the bowl. I'll just add these onions that was left I used for the fish so that everything will have flavor. And I'll cut these tomatoes too. Take out the seed and add it in there.
Tomatoes is optional. And I have some lettuce that I just saw in my fridge. I'm going to add it there. Those ones are optional too. So I'll now slice the cabbage. After slicing, I'll use salt to wash it. I'm done with this so I'll just put it inside the bowl and wash so I told you I saw some lettuce in my fridge I'm going to add it Totally washed. So let me get my cabbage ready. So I'm done washing the um, cabbage with salt. So I'll add it in the bowl. When this is done, I'll put it in the fridge to cool a bit until the fish is ready when we are about to eat. You know, we have to add in some potatoes. So I have some sweet potato I'm going to peel to fry. So this will go into the fridge now while I get the potato for peeling and then for frying. So guys, I'm using sweet potato <clears throat> so I'll peel them and then fry because without potato this our barbecue fish will be complete you can use Irish uh, potato but my kids they prefer this sweet potato that's why I'm using this one When you peel, you have to put them inside the water. If not, you start changing color. So I'm going to cut them in big chunks, not tiny chunks. So that the inside will be so succulent. This is where I'm going to fry them. You can see the size I'm cutting them. This is how I'm going to cut them. So guys, I'm done peeling the sweet potato. I'll just sprinkle some salt, sprinkle some pepper, Cameroon dry pepper. Then I'll fry just a little bit and I'll go and fry now. The oil is on the fire getting hot. So guys, the oil is hot, so I'll just add in some of them. They will be fried until they are golden brown. Then I'll take them out of the oil and put in the kitchen a paper towel to drain out the excess oil. So our sweet potato is ready. This is the way I want it to be. Crunchy outside but soft inside so it can go with our barbecue croaker fish remember to put them in a paper 
towel so you can drain out the excess oil. So guys, after one hour, our barbecue fish is out of the oven. So let's see what we have here. See the first one. This is the middle one. This is the last. So I'll just go get another bigger tray and serve because we are going to take it with potato, fried potato and salad. So let me take it out from this oven tray and put it in, in another tray that we're going to take it with. So guys, I told you that I'm cooking for five able men. So I'm done with my barbecue now. I'm trying to set the table outside where we are going to eat this thing because it is very hot. They need all the fresh air outside to take in the heat. I told her about I was going for five able men, able-bodied men. These are the five men that I'm cooking that I cook this uh, barbecue for. <laughs> they are shouting pepper, pepper, pepper. Yeah. This one is um, is it premium pro max pepper? <laughs> you don't call it. Mm. But you know, if you are eating fish without pepper, you cannot really eat it. Yeah. It shouldn't taste very, very good. So it's good for you to have pepper. I need fish now, eh? Mm. If there wasn't pepper, you need fish, you wouldn't be able to eat it. Or if you really like catfish, there's no pepper, you just, you, you just throw one. That would be I spicy. Like mm -hmm. mm. When I was pregnant for Kenya, I almost died. I was looking for pepper in, in, in Paris. Why? I know it's a pepper chop. I forgot I'm for dead, that not be smart. <laughs> I was looking for pepper. You know, it's very spicy, hot. Yeah, no, 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 and I ask a guy, I can't wait. When you not chill, you know, you I got this stew now, I'm called stew. <laughs> you say? I mean, stew. I said, you said stew? I'll oh, go give you stew, go there for table. You said stew? I said stew now, am I? So he came and discovered that I was not eating. No, just plain white rice and chicken. I said, what about stew? Is it stew? Do you look